Hey everybody, I'm Luca Paris and welcome to A Culinary Journey. Today's show is going to be a lot of fun. It's ready for the holidays. You know, you're going to have that little gathering and you want to have the noshing kind of great food to have. So we have a little tartlet with apples and onions and, and then we have a kind of fondue with brie that you could dip some bread in and popcorn. All right, popcorn. You didn't think we would even do that on the show, but we will in a roasting pan. We're going to make some wonderful popcorn. That and all these great flavors. Plus, my guest is Piner. He's behind the scenes most of the time. I'm bringing him out because I got a lot of work to do. Get ready for a holiday party. And guess what? Our holiday party starts with our culinary journey now. Welcome back to A Culinary Journey. To my right and your left is Piner. Piner, what's up, buddy? Nothing. What's no, up with you? No, nothing. You were just hanging out, so we got Nothing you besides the, the ceiling, anyway. Oh, you're, you're just a comedian. You're a crazy guy. <laughs> It'd be different if we were Pi outside. Yeah. <laughs> Piner's here with us today. We're setting up our holiday. Nice shirt, man. Where'd you get that? Oh, some fancy guy gave it to me. Yeah? Yeah. It almost looks like it came out of my closet. Okay. But Maybe it, So we, we're doing a holiday party today, right? And we're doing popcorn. You're gonna, you're gonna pop some popcorn oh, for yes. me? We got a pan ready, we'll do that later on. We're gonna do a fondue, and then we're doing caramelized onion tarts. And a lot of this stuff can be done ahead of time, which is really cool, that we could get it ready, have it going, and then we could enjoy the party. Sounds, Sounds good to good? me. Sounds good? You gonna help me out? Yep. You ready for this? Ready. Okay, you're ready, <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, I want you to get me ready the caramelized onion. We're gonna make caramelized onion, apple, and what type of, uh, what else are we putting in there? Caramelized apple, onion, thyme. We're going to need those things, so you're going to need to cut those up for me. Cut up an onion, slice it almost like we're doing for a red onion soup. You got Piner? it. Yep. There you go. That's for you, sir. Why, thank you. You'll get the nice knife. And what Piner's going to do is he's going to slice this in long strips, and we're going to let them caramelize in the pan. So I've got to get my pan nice and hot so we can do a quick caramelization on the onions. And we're going to cook down the apples at the same time, so we're going to have to get that, cool it off a little bit, and we can go from there. While he's doing that, I'm going to start working on what's our fondue. And our fondue is really simple. What we're going to do for a fondue is just take brie, some heavy cream, some minced onions, or shallots in this case. And we're going to let that reduce. It's re traditionally, uh, fondues could be anything from a really heavy cheese sauce, where it's a lot of cheese, a little bit of wine, and then some herbs, and then some onions into that. What we're going to do is kind of go in the other direction. We're going to be a lot of cream. It's going to be a, a nice, creamy, cheesy dip that you'll be able to use with our bread that we'll use later. And then we're going to add our, we're going to make some seasoned popcorn. Seasoned popcorn. You're going to pick the flavors. You yep, to get everything except for Reese's Pieces. Yeah, which you wanted. <laughs> I said, if we could get that. We can actually, what's great about doing seasoned popcorn is you could do it any time of the year, and you could do it for, instead of buying like the packages that go in the microwave, you buy the kernels, you pop it right in a pan, and you can flavor it as you go. Much better. It's really good. Much better. All right, so how are we doing? Onions are working? Good. Onions are good. All right, so this is the show where I'm How would you like your apples? No uh, same, same way. I figure I'm just going to stand here and talk and let Piner do all the work. All right. It sounds like when we are at work. Yeah, that's yeah, weird. Exactly. <laughs> I thought this was my day off. Yeah, not anymore. All right, so we're going to get our onions in. We're going to add a little oil into that pan, too. And we'll let these cook down. I mean, when you caramelize an onion, that's where you're getting the natural sweetness out of the onion. Which one's, which one's salt, Piner? This one, right? You got it. All right. Thank you for your help. Look for the shine and stay away. Yeah. And that's, and that's a cool idea, because when you, when you have salt and sugar on your same plate, you want to know what's the difference, right? Well, the salt is less of a shine. And in our case, since we use kosher salt, you'll see it's a lot bigger. You know, like bigger in kernels, and then you keep needing to go in there. You need I know, your it's own garbage isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm also going to add a little bit of sugar. Now, caramelization adds natural sugars, but we're also kind of quick caramelizing where we want to add some sugar to it. It's going to help it brown. It's going to add a lot more flavor to what we're doing. So he's got his apples cooking. We're going to get those in at the same time. Door. Door. <laughs> 
We're going to have a good time <laughs> with this. Let me sneak in some apples in there, right? And we'll get those in there also. We'll let them cook down. Hey, gotcha. All right. You've been cooking for a while, huh, Piner? Well, uh, I don't know. Probably about 25 years. Just 20, kidding. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> you look good for your age. Let me get the rest it. of that in. And we got that cooking down. Now, in our brief fondue, when we jump over here, because I'm going to cut up some shallots for that. Can I borrow your knife? You Thank may. you. That's wonderful. Um, in our brief fondue, what I'm going to also be doing is some lagostino. You could do some crab meat. You could do chopped shrimp. The lagostino, those are, those are uh, pretty much like a blend between the two. Or think of spiny lobsters or small lobster. It's the meat from the tail of, the, of a Mediterranean lobster. And it has great flavor. Uh, if you could get it, they usually come frozen already. All the meat is out. And we're going to use that, too, in our fondue to kind of spice it up. And I think I forgot to mention that early on. So, so we're going to have lobster brie, or lagostino brie, and cream in our fondue. So I got my shallots cut down. Ta -da. And Piner, what you're going to do on the same board, since we just did vegetables on here, you, got it. you could chop up our, fondue, our, our lagostino for me. You got it. And I'll get this all going over here. So uh, in one pan, we got some onions and apples cooking down. We're going to let those caramelize. That's going to be the main part of our, whoa, that's nice and hot. That's going to be the main part of our, um, our, what are we calling that? Our little tartlet. And in this other pan where I'm getting the shallots to really get cooking, I'm going to get that as our base to our fondue. So we have all those flavors kind of coming together. In the uh, shallot, we're going to add salt and pepper. And I know I keep jumping back and forth with you guys, but it's, it's, these are two things that you do almost at the same time, just to get them ready. We put a little thyme, get our thyme in there with the apple and the onions. Those are just classic flavors of the winter and the holidays. Thyme, apples, onions, you just all those flavors just come together. They tell you that you know it's the holidays and that's what's coming on and it's time to enjoy them. And there we go, let's cook those down. That's gonna be absolutely wonderful. Over here, we're going to add a little bit of cream to get that started for our roux or our um, fondue. I'm going to cook it down. Again, those are simple flavors. With the fondue, the only thing I'm really doing is adding cream, shallots, and then the cheese. And then we're going to add the fish in there. And that's going to really give it a ton of flavor. So we have salt and pepper, shallots, cream that we're going to reduce down. What's great about working with cream is that it's, only, it's its natural thickening agent, and we're able to just cook it on down. So what we're going to do is let the apples caramelize a bit. We're going to let the cream reduce. When we come back, those apples and that, those onions are going to be nice and caramelized. Cream will be reduced. We start adding in our brie at that point and our lagostino. And then Piner and I are going to make a little tartlets, get them in the oven. We're going to work on our fondue and grill some bread, and then we're going to make popcorns. Don't go away. We'll be right back. You having fun? Having fun. All right. Hanging out with the boss. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome back to A Culinary Journey. While well, Piner was chopping, I was stirring. We're getting it all done. This is my guest, Piner. You go by the one name, Piner. There we go. There we're over yeah, there. I know. Yeah, you're <laughs> Piner and Luca. Yeah. And, and yeah, That's just it. follow the lights, Piner. And what we're doing is holiday get together with a little, you know, with these little appetizer things. And we're going to be doing caramelized apples, onions, and thyme in a tart. And those are going to be fun in yep. a second. And I'm making my fondue over here, or my faux fondue, which has cream and shallots in there right now, a little salt and pepper. And then we're cooking the cream down. And what's great, you know, a lot of people, they'll see it start bubbling like this. So, uh oh, you're going to scald or you're going to separate the milk. But cream kind of reduces itself. I mean, we use that all the time. No a, burn cream. Yeah, exactly. That's what it, it pretty much is. And as that's reducing down, what we're going to add to it, Piner took the rind off the brie cheese. And the best way, you'll buy brie like this. You get brie that's pretty much in, with the rind on it, which is great to eat normally, or even if you're doing a baked brie. But in this case, we need everything to melt. Best way to do this is keep this refrigerated right up to the point you want to cut it apart. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and then it, will, it won't be as hard to cut off the rind, and you'll actually get to keep more cheese with it. So that's, that's what we have here. And then he chopped up the langostino. Langostino, thick Mediterranean lobster, spiny lobster, smaller. Yep. 
and that's the meat from that. What also could be done instead of that is uh, maybe like a crawfish or a crayfish or something like that. So we have those ingredients there. I'm going to put these in here. Finally, what your job is going to be is to get us some uh, puff pastry for our brie, our um, crepes. So let's get the brie in there. We're going to kind of melt that in. Oh, that looks so good. You could use a lot of different cheeses if you want, maybe like a fontina or uh, any type of good shredded cheese that kind of melts well. Uh, brie just is kind of a natural. When you think fondue, you think French, and then you think, well, brie cheese. But like a fontina works in really well in that too. And as you kind of mix it in, now I'm on low heat with the, with the, the, the uh, cream. As I'm mixing it in, the brie kind of melts in there. Now I have to be careful because this, at this point, if I have it on too high, that's when it might separate. But you see how it's getting rich and creamy? Oh, that looks so good. And when it's almost all done, we'll add in our langostino. If you don't want to do a langostino and you want to do something else, uh, you know what else is really good on this? Crab meat. You know, like a shredded crab meat. You get the cans of frozen crab meat. That goes great in there and it kind of takes up the whole spot. But I kind of wanted to do a little something different. Oh, this looks so good. All right, man. You have puff pastry Let's for us, it. right? Yep. So, over here, we got puff pastry. You can buy it from the store. It usually comes with a little plastic around it. When you're working with puff pastry, it's really important to know not to take it out or unwrap it before you need it because it's going to get really dry, like phyllo dough does and all these other yep. doughs. They'll start getting dry. And then the parts that we're not putting uh, food directly on will actually kind of puff up, and hence puff pastry. So we're going to cut pretty much something that looks like a, a square tartlet for each of us. Okay, that one's for you. All right, that's going to be yours. Now, what's cool about this, too, is you could do them in smaller sizes. If you want to do little individuals, you can do that, too. Piner and I are going to work on getting this to be our little onion tartlets. We each get one. Get to see who works, whose comes out nicer. Ta-da. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> you want your, in <laughs> your stuff to put stick. inside? Yeah. Right. <laughs> I don't know. This is kind of nice, You too, kind though. of find the way it is? Yeah. All right, so Shave we take a little scoop of our caramelized apples and onions. Does that look good? Yep. All right, do whatever you want to do with that. And again, if you, if you have a lot of, a lot of people, uh, you can make these really small. You could do this as a great appetizer. Uh, we're going to sprinkle a little, you could do a little creme fraiche on it. We're going to do some sour cream that we're going to add some herbs to to put on it to serve it. And then you could either do pretty much whatever you want to do for a fold. It looks like a, mine's going to look more like a rustic tart. Oh, he's going to fold it all together. Yep. We're going. Mine's going to be a little more open. It's a lot of different folds you could give to this. Since it's a holiday, it's like opening a present. You don't know what's in it. It's like every day with you, Piner. You just know it's going to be good. Yeah, exactly. And if it's not good, you're going to lie and say it is. <laughs> you want to get pan so we can bake these? I suppose. <laughs> You have a spray for that too? I do. You rock. Do we have any spatulas for this? Maybe. There we go. I got a little spatula. He's going to spray that. Now these are going to stick a little to the, to the bottom out. Can I borrow that spray too? Yeah. Use any, your finger. Any, oh, look at that. That's nice. Innovation. Any, <laughs> any non-stick spray can work for that. We're going to get that on. Let's see. Let's see if we even need that. We probably don't. You got yours going? Oh, yeah. All right. There you go. Oh, you're impressive. This is why I had you on the show. See, Mom now said I can't if you're going to wrap a present, you better make a nice bow. A nice bow. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Let's get these in the oven. We're going to get them high on 400 degrees. We're going to cook them for about 8 to 10 minutes. We're going to check on them because they're going to get nice and brown. Remember, our inside is done. We don't have to worry about that. Our outside is what we have to get nice and brown. And then here, we're going to just let reduce down a little bit more. We have our brie. We have our langostino. What we need to do is kind of reset, right? And we're going to reset, come back. Those are going to be partially ready. We're going to make popcorn. We're going to put our fondue and grill some bread for it and dunk in there. And then after that, we're just going to have a party. So don't go away, because we'll be right back. Hey, everybody. I'm back with Piner here. Piner, how you doing, buddy? Good. Good? You still having fun? Oh, yeah. Just a blast? With you, always. That's the way it should be, man. All right, we're making... What are we making today, Piner? Were you paying attention? Yeah, I think so. We're okay. making a fondue with langoustine. Yeah. Then we're going to make my popcorn. Your popcorn. Yep. We're going to grill, popcorn. grill some bread Yes. for the fondue. For the fondue. And we also have a caramelized apple and onion tart. 
that we're looking at Working. right now that's not ready yet. Not ready yet. So let's turn that up. Looks good, smells good. It's all Just good. make sure it gets good. We need to make sure it's ready for the end of the show. Yeah, I think we got that. You sure? Yeah, all magic. Right. All right, that's what it's all about, magic. All right, so the popcorn, we're just getting it heated up on low. We'll talk about that in a second. I have my grill pan here, and then what I'm just going to do, where did my brush go, Planner? Right there. A little food-only brush. I'm going to brush some olive oil on all of these, a little salt and pepper. Planner, let's start on that uh, popcorn. So we're going to make popcorn in this pan. All right, we're going to turn up the heat on it to medium-high heat. Planner's going to find some ingredients that we want to put in there. Now, we want to get that in first because we want to kind of See what, so what are you in the mood for? Paprika. Yeah? Yep, I like paprika. You want to do sesame seed or no? Mm, not, not really. Not really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do olive oil. We're going to put some oil in the pan. Olive oil, And popcorn. because you're from Italy, we'll do some Italian seasoning. Along paprika with and white Italian pepper seasoning? and a touch of salt. All right, why don't you put that in? I'll and get this in there. I forgot the peanut butter cups at home. So Did you? <laughs> we will leave that out. All right, so Italian seasoning. White pepper and the salt. The question is, Luca, what's in an Italian seasoning? Oh, that's a good question. Think oregano, basil, thyme. Those are pretty much uh, the flavors. Oh, look, there's rosemary in there, too. I think it's always good to make your own when you can, just using fresh. But in this case, dry is important to it, because if we're going to do for the popcorn, the fresh would be a little too moist. We want to now toast it up. We're going to turn up our heat. We're going to toast all those flavors together, and that's an important part of it, though. Some recipes will show you where they take all the seasoning, throw the popcorn in, and just let it cook. We're going to kind of meld those flavors together first, then we're going to hit the popcorn in there and cook, and uh, see how our popcorn experiment works out. The fondue, we got the bread grilling right here. I'm only going to grill one side. I'm going to get some of that fondue. Finally, why don't you check out how we're looking inside the oven, make sure the ones that you and I made are Coming along nicely. Coming along nicely, yes. All right. Not quite ready yet, right? Not quite ready. Getting Look at that. there. Look at this, buddy. I see it. That's langoustine. I smell this it, is, too. This is almost a soup. Look at that. That's beautiful. Mm-hmm. We'll put... You drop oh. the bread in it, you know what you have to do, right? Kiss somebody. Do you really? Yeah. Dude, you don't know the, the fondue rules? The no, yeah. I don't know the fondue rules. <laughs> You get to kiss anybody you want. Really? The only thing is they have to be on TV with you. Okay, this is going to get awkward now. You know that, right? <laughs> it's just the two of us. This is, this oh, is, is, is that, it's just I, us? I know next time I'm doing a fondue show with Lindy. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just do that. All right, we got some bread for our dunking, which we're doing after the show's over, apparently, because, yeah, no. Okay, so <laughs> how's that popcorn? Where is it? Where is popcorn it's right, right here? Yeah. All right, Piner, you're in charge of the popcorn. All right, let's do this. All right, do you think that's enough? Let's turn that I up on so. high. We, we put a glass top. See if it actually, let's see how that works out. Piner's going to stand there and pop the popcorn until he goes crazy. Huh? Let's get that grill pan off, which it is. Beautiful. Let me take a look down below while you're popping. This is where we need, you know, like TiVo. Kind of, let's just watch. <laughs> All right, Who knows? I'll check down explosions, below. explosions. <laughs> Oh, our pastry is getting nice and uh, cooked up, so that'll be up soon. So when you're doing a dinner like this, it's really important to know like some of the stuff that you could do ahead of time, which is the popcorn you can definitely do ahead of time. You don't have to worry about trying to get through it on the eight minutes left of your own show. And then you could do the fondue ahead of time and just bring it back up to heat as we go. So. We're getting there. You're getting there? Yeah, I think so. Jiffy Pop has nothing on us. Let me just tell you, folks. No so foil. The Italian <laughs> seasoning is wonderful. Listen, I'm tasting this whether we're doing, we're not doing that second part, okay? Yeah, just don't drop the bread. It'll oh, be fine. you mean drop the bread? Yeah, I you drop you it in the cheese. It. Oh, I get it. Well, you don't just go around kissing people. <laughs> well, that's not bad around the holidays. That's a good point. Yeah. Mmm. I have to, I'm not going to drop the bread there. I'm going to keep it right there. Okay, don't All right, soon this going. thing will start popping. We do, we do have the brie and the caramelized apples and onions in, the, in there. And uh, we'll see where that goes. We almost need a beer. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, while we're waiting for the popcorn. You're on high all the way? Yeah. Oh, no, you're off. I'm not off. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm, I'm kidding. always on. <laughs> you're always on. <laughs> Let's say, let me get those uh, tartlets out, see what we're looking like in there. Ooh, getting good. We're almost there. If you can get a capture of that while you're doing that, can you get that? Anybody? No? No? Can't see that yet? No. That, those caramelized, it's uh, the puff pastry starting to cook on the outside. 
And we'll pop it back in right now just to make it finish. And that will be Here oh, we go. Yours, yours look beautiful. You popping? I got. Uh oh, he's starting to pop. Here we he's go. He's got one. He's got one. We're almost there. He's got two. Oh, no. I'm up to five. You're up to five. <laughs> now they're going like crazy. <laughs> yeah. This is fun. This is actually fun to watch. Are you guys watching this? Because we want to. They can certainly Six, hear it. Seven, eight. Once it gets started, it's all over. There we go. There we go. Popcorn. <laughs> this is actually fun to do with the kids. Yeah. You know, it'd be a fun thing to do. Yeah. Hyperactive not, not kid. Here you go. Shake yeah, it a lot. Shake. <laughs> <laughs> just keep it. Mom's gonna go relax now. Yeah, mom. We're just gonna go blow up the kitchen. <laughs> nice. Now it's starting to really pop. We're getting that popcorn. All those flavors. Now that's what's great about it. So sometimes you'll buy popcorn and then you'll just do it and then add the flavors to it. These flavors have just spent a lot of time getting incorporated into it. And then once it starts popping, we're going to be good to go. And let's hope I didn't put too many kernels uh, in there. I'm getting there. Yeah, you get <laughs> I think we're filling up the pot. Yeah. All we need to do is have a good showing on top. Look how beautiful that is. That's like, that is magic. Finally. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Let's All right. pull that off the stove and we'll let that We've finish. We've done it. All right. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> there you go. How about a bowl? It's never going to stop. Do we have a big bowl? <laughs> I didn't crow. We're going to fit. No, yeah, we have a big bowl. There you go. Nice job, buddy. By the way, there's popcorn all over the place. <laughs> that is awesome. Also, your kids are good for cleaning up. Yeah, well, that's your job today. Yes. That is so cool. Let's sprinkle a little bit of salt on top just to kind of finish that off. And let's finish off with a little bit of that uh, paprika that you had on before. Yes. Let's see. And voila, our flavored popcorn is done. And man, we got a lot of it. Here, here everybody, catch. Merry no, I'm just Christmas. Kidding. Merry Christmas. There we go. We did popcorn in a bowl. That was awesome. All right, let's go get one of these. Let's see which one do we get in Piner? Looks like yours. We could have used a little bit more oil on there. Where did that oil pan go? Is it right over there? Oh, I got it over here, yeah. Let's do that. And so there you have it, Piner, in a, in a nutshell or in a, in a puff pastry, in a puff pastry gift because you are the gift to us today, Piner. We have puff pastry. We have amazing popcorn. We have oh, our yeah. fondue. Don't forget your fondue. That's the same one I used. Yeah, well, it's either that or we kiss. OK, that's, that's better. You just double dipped with my dip. Not even possible. Don't try that at home. Yeah. <laughs> We're professionals. <laughs> for Piner and me, thank you, buddy. I really appreciate yeah, your time. Yeah, thanks for it was... letting me out of the cage. Yeah, I know. And now I'll get back in. we got right. to clean up yeah. for another show. <laughs> hey, we hope you have a great holiday. Have as much fun in the kitchen as we did today. And you know what? No matter what you come up with, you're going to have a great time. And enjoy your families. Enjoy your holidays. And from all of us, Cheshire TV and A Culinary Journey with Luca Paris and our family, and Mananak Flooring of Vermont Cabinetry wish you a very happy holiday and Merry Christmas. See you next time on A Culinary Journey.